Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the Ball Metal Noid coming at you with uh, part two of my wonderful series on the top 50 metal albums in my collection. And uh, now that I know how to title this thing, uh, we're gonna start up with we're gonna start with number 40 and work our way up to number 31. So, without further ado. Let's go ahead and get into this thing. So, uh, number 40 is um, a band I thought should have got, you know, they're still around, they're, they're still active. Uh, and it would have been nice if they had gotten more attention back in the old days. Um, or overall, just, or even now, you know, maybe a bit more attention would be good. Uh, I am talking, of course, about Metal Church and their self-titled debut. Uh, this is an absolute beast of an album. Um, and if you're any sort of a metal fan at all, this pretty much belongs in every metal fan's collection, in my opinion, because it's absolutely just awesome. Awesome. Okay, so that was number 40. <laughs> So that's the bot, the, the the quote bottom of this. Again, just just like in all the other videos, I love all of these albums almost equally, um, but I had to order them somehow. So I just kind of just went with my gut on these. I didn't give these a listen or anything like that because I don't have time to listen to fifty albums. That'd be nice, but just not gonna happen. <laughs> so uh, the next on the list is eh, I consider this metal. Some others might not. I did go back and forth a little bit about whether I should even include this or not, but I will say I do think it qualifies as a heavy metal album, um, and that is uh, Twisted Sisters' Stay Hungry. Um, this is just an absolute classic, and um, I think it's absolutely fantastic. You know, uh, definitely... I would say this is a cornerstone of, you know, the, the mid to early 80s, right? I think it's absolutely great. So there you go. Uh, moving on. Next one is uh, Grip Inc.'s debut. Power of Inner Strength. This band, of course, is yeah, slightly obscure, I guess. Uh, its most notable claim to fame, of course, is it was started by, uh, you know, Dave Lombardo of Slayer. Um, this does not sound like Slayer, not really. Uh, you know, I mean, you could say, yeah, it's thrash metal, but it, it definitely does not sound like Slayer at all, for the most part, in the in the music department. It's that, uh, they're absolutely fantastic. Sadly, um, the singer, Gus Chambers, is dead. I Probably a drug overdose, I'm not sure. He's been dead for some years now. But um, this is an absolutely killer album, and Grip Inc. is an absolutely fantastic band. Most definitely worth your time. Moving on from there, we got uh, Dream Theater's Train of Thought, and I own several Dream Theater albums, and the reason I picked this one is it's by far their heaviest album that I own. I just think it's the most, I don't know, most impactful to my ears. It's probably not their, I know it's probably not their highest rated, but to me, it's just my personal favorite Dream Theater album, hence why it's on the list, hence here we go. Moving on. Um, we've got wonderful suicidal tendencies. Lights, camera, revolution. Um, absolutely seminal album. Um, it's my favorite suicidal album. Um, you know, it's full of awesome songs. And what can I say about suicidal tendencies that hasn't already be, been said? Um... I love, you know, I, I would say Suicidal really expanded what metal could be in a lot of ways. Uh, you know, introducing a lot of funk elements, um, some some groove, uh, you know, and, and some of that, some of the urban influences into it. And, and again, in a good way, not not the over top terrible way that some other bands did, but but I definitely like what Suicidal did or did and is still doing. Excellent band, excellent album. Moving on, we've got, in my opinion, uh, Blind Guardian's Finest Hour, Nightfall in Middle Earth. Um, this is an absolutely, 
you know, phenomenal symphonic power metal album and just, I don't know, the, the musicianship on this is out of this world. It's just, just incredible. So there you go. Moving on. We've got my favorite death album, Human. Um, I think this is, uh, you know, uh, all of Death's albums are awesome and amazing and, and all that. But um, this one is just, it's upside down. <laughs> That's what I get for not looking at myself in the video, right? That's why you guys love me. You love, love the bloopers. And I just leave them in because screw it. One take. One take. <laughs> uh, absolutely amazing album. Uh, you know, what can I say about Human that hasn't already been said? Okay, moving on from that. Um, we've got, uh, In Flames Horacle, uh, In Flames for the past several albums have not been all that good. Let's just face it. They put out fairly mediocre, I wouldn't call it new metal, but definitely influenced by new metal. Not what they used to be. They used to be, you know, one of the greatest pioneers of melodic death metal. That's how I try to remember them and, and, and think of them, not what they've become, but horrible. Oh my god, this is just an amazing, just... Again, a must-own death metal album for even any slight fan of the genre. Okay. Moving on. And this is sure to make Metal Mickey very, very, very happy. Um... <laughs> <laughs> because I know how much he loves this album. And that is uh, Death Angels, The Evil Divide. I own pretty much all of Death Angels' discography, so why did this one... Why this one? I don't know. Um, it just kind of has, to me, the best mixture of old and new Death Angel. And um, I think it's absolutely mind-blowing and fantastic in the end. Uh, this next one that I'm going to show off, I don't own, again, this is a band where I only own, like, maybe four of their albums or so, even though I really like the band. I, there's too many bands like that, but, anyway, whatever. I'm just going to get off my heart. Here's, and, uh, Halloween's The Time of the Oath. Um, this is an absolutely amazing Halloween release. Um, they were really in their stride back in, like, the mid-90s when this came out. I think the mid-90s, something like that. I don't know. But anyway, this is absolutely fantastic. This would be number 41, or I'm sorry, no, number 31. Jeez, I can't talk. Number 31 topping this list of 10. So, um, yeah, absolutely just insanely great Halloween album. I love it to death. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So that rounds out this group of 10. Um, and just a side note, I had a really hard time kind of ordering these albums because again like i said i really like all of these albums a lot and for me to sit here and say yeah this album's better than it, it, very subjective and uh it was lots of uh you know <laughs> really difficult to order these especially when i get into like the top 20 <laughs> that was i had to agonize over some of those decisions so anyway uh that's it if you like this you know what to do thank you so much for watching and of course, live long and prosper.